Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So I was looking on videohive.net and I found uh, several cool photo montages that I really liked. So I decided to do a tutorial on it and this is what we'll be creating. So this should be good if you want to do like a still or a graphic design uh, portfolio and you want to show several pieces of work at the same time. And I thought this was a really cool uh, animation. So this is a good way to just show off pictures. So here we are in After Effects. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our pen tool and we want to make sure the fill over here is disabled. And you can disable it by clicking this little cross uh, box here, which says none. And make sure you want to set the stroke to about four pixels and maybe set it to white. And what we can do is we can come down here, click a point, and go to the top here and hold down shift and click a straight point here. So now we have a straight line like this. And we click off of here. Now we have a perfect stroke. And I'm going to call this one line one. And let's go ahead and duplicate it by hitting command D on a Mac or control D on a PC. And we can duplicate this uh, line and we can kind of move it over here. Uh, we'll probably just keep it off for right now. So let's add another horizontal line like this. And we'll call this one uh, line middle. And we really want to get to animating this right off the start. So let's go ahead and maybe put this in a place where we want it to be, which will probably be right here. And let's maybe go to like two seconds or something. And we'll click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And we'll go to the beginning of our timeline. And let's go ahead and move this up all the way to the top here. So now we'll have this animating in and let's make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And then let's go to our uh, line one, which is this one here. Let's hit P on our, key, uh, on our keyboard to add a keyframe. And let's go ahead and maybe just move this over here. So we want to divide this into thirds. So if you do 1920 divided by three, you get, I think, 640. So uh, th this is where the first line is going to go. And then we need to go to like 1280, which should be right there. So if you need to see the rulers, what you can do is hit Command R on your um, if you're on a Mac or Control R on a PC. So now let's go ahead and go to the beginning here, and let's go ahead and bring this out over here, and maybe let's go ahead and uh, move these keyframes over a little bit to the right, just to have some offset animations. So now this one comes in and is followed by the next uh, line like that. So now let's go ahead and move forward in time a little bit, maybe go to like five seconds or something. And let's go ahead and add a keyframe for our positions here. So add a keyframe here and a keyframe at the top here. So these will kind of just stay still and stop. And then that actually didn't make any sense. So it'll come in and stop. And then let's go to like say six seconds and let's reposition these lines. So maybe the middle line here can go straight to the center point of our comp and you can enable title safes, which are right here and to have like that actual cross there in the center so we know where the center's at. And we'll go to line one and let's go to 640 here on our ruler. So now if we take a look here, turn that off. This will come in and then it'll readjust just like that. And then as this one's kind of moving over, we want our line two to come in here as well. We'll add a keyframe for this for line two and we'll move forward in time. And we'll go here and drag this into about 680. So now we have all of our lines in here and we have the basic animation for our lines. So for our next step, I want to add some awesome uh, contrast here with these lines. So what I want to do is go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll put this at the bottom here, right above our photo. And let's go to effect, color correction, curves. And let's just go here and kind of make this a little bit darker. Actually, let's make this one a little bit brighter, my mistake. And Let's see, let's go ahead and hit P on our keyboard for position and let's make sure that this is stopped right above our line. So you can like keep it right on the line, kind of like that. And let's go ahead and just hit U on our keyboard to bring up all of our keyframes. And we see the keyframe here is stopping for our line middle. Let's go to our adjustment layer three here and hit P on our keyboard. And let's go ahead and click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Let's move to the beginning and let's just offset this all the way like this. So now. And make sure to make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe. And there you have it. So this will kind of come in like this. So let's go and add another adjustment layer and add another color correction curves. And let's just make this a little bit darker. And let's see, let's go here to our line one final keyframe. 
and let's go ahead and put this in the right spot. So like right here should be about good. And let's just hit P on our keyboard to add a keyframe. And let's see, let's go to the beginning, which should be right here. Or, yep, right there. And let's go ahead and just animate this in. And make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe. Oh yeah, and make the line one uh, keyframes here all easy as, and also make the line two last final position keyframe an easy as keyframe as well. I kinda forgot about this set, but yeah, the easy as keyframes are your friend in this animation here. All right, so now that we have all the basic contrasted filters here, uh, what we need to do is right here, we wanna go ahead and change the photo uh, into his individual blocks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab like another photo and we'll put it on top of our adjustment layers and make sure the both of the adjustment layers are underneath or right above our uh, our background picture and right underneath our next picture. So let's go ahead and just position this and we'll say it's gonna be right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose this by going up to layer, pre-compose, just the uh, picture we just dragged in. And we'll call this one uh, pick two and leave all attributes in tut, that'll be fine. And let's go to our mask tool or our rectangle tool. And we need to just create some mask along our lines just like this. And then once we have that in there, and once we're happy with it, we'll go ahead and duplicate the pick two layer, hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask, let's delete it, and go back to the rectangle tool, and let's go ahead and bring this into, break this up into fours, kind of like this, and we're just gonna repeat this process for the other two segments. So I've broken up our picture into four segments, so now let's go ahead and just uh, offset these a little bit, so kind of bring in the endpoints of these layers, just so we can have a variation in our animation here. So, okay, so now we take a look here. As you can see, each of these pictures kind of pop on individually in segments. So it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and move forward a little bit until our um, arrows move here. And as you see, we have a little bit of few sort of gaps in our picture and that's just overlapping. So all we have to do is go, uh, to fix these is we can go into like say our second picture here and just take the two points here at the top and just kind of move it up. It's not going to matter so much like uh, you know, overlap in the mask just because um, when we bring on pick two here or the start of the second segment here, the first segment is already on, so we're not going to notice anything. So we just need to make sure we go forward here and kind of just move these over where there's no uh, gaps. And it's just this one right here. And we'll just bring this up a little bit. And there it is. So there's no gaps. And to finish this off, let's go ahead and take our pick two here. Let's go ahead and pre compose it and we'll call it pick two edited. And now that's gonna be clean for our comp. So now all we have to focus on now is the last six photos that we're gonna go ahead and insert in here. So I'm gonna bring in another photo and let's go ahead and maybe start with the right upper, the upper right segment here. And let's go ahead and scale this down. Let's put this into a nice position that we want this to be in. Maybe like a little bit bigger than that. That should be fine. And, you know, just for this one, we'll just kind of put this in a place where we don't do any masking. But let's go ahead and bring this one down above, uh, underneath our lines, kind of like this. And what I want to do with this one is animate this on with the uh, second line here. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And line two starts, ends right here. So go to our pick that we just dragged in, hit P on our keyboard to bring up position. And we'll add our keyframe so it'll come in at the perfect time just like that. And we'll go here to the... First keyframe of line two, and we'll just bring this off like this. And we'll make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe. All right, and we'll go here and grab another picture. And let's go ahead and put this one in the top corner over here, scale it down. And we can put this in any spot that we want. So I'm gonna put it right there. And obviously, obviously what you can see is overlapping the lines and it's not gonna be good. So let's go ahead and just put this underneath all of our lines here. And let's go to our rectangle tool. And let's go ahead and mask over uh, the line here and go to subtract and let's go do that for the bottom line as well and now as you can see it fits perfectly in the rectangle and now what we can do is what I suggest doing is just pre-compose it and we'll call this one pick uh, I think four and you can still leave the attributes in the tut so now if you wanted to change this picture at any time we can just open up this comp and as you see we can go ahead and just drop drop in another picture uh, and we go to our tut here, and as you see, it automatically updates, and we don't have to do any readjustment. We just drop it in there, and it's done. But I don't want that pick in there right now. So let's go ahead and do maybe one more, and you guys will have a full understanding of what this is supposed to look like. So here's another picture. Boom. And let's 
just maybe for this one, we'll just fade this one in. And we can play, maybe put this one in this corner here and scale it up. Maybe we'll just leave it right there. And the same concept applies. We just go here and we will add a mask for this, subtract it, and we'll go here and subtract the mask for this one as well. And maybe we need to move the mask over a touch. That's good. And we'll pre compose it and we'll call this one pick five, I think. Oh, that's the camera. And we'll call this one pick five, leave all attributes in comp. And we we can go to our opacity here and hit T on our keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe, move that one forward in time, and fade this to 0%. Now this one will just fade in. And that's 8%. There we are. And this one will just fade in and look pretty cool. And another picture. And this one I want to do like a two up sort of thing. So maybe I just want to keep this one here. Maybe just do a slight sort of scale into this one. And I just want to leave, say, this one like right here. And we can use two segments for this one. And we'll go ahead and add our mask, kind of like this. Subtract it. And do the same thing there. Subtract. And we'll just do the opacity thing over here. And we'll set this to 0%. So now we have this animation. And for the last segment, I'm not going to actually do it. I challenge you guys to finish it up if you're following along with this tutorial. And do whatever you want. I had it slide in initially, but I'm going to conclude this tutorial. And just remember, the last thing you need to always do is enable motion blur. Most of the time, you want to do that. I suggest doing it for this one, but it's up to you guys. And I just realized I didn't animate this photo, but all I would do for it is maybe just opacity, do the opacity 0% uh, to 100% for it. But that is, for the most part, how you do this uh, photo collage. So if you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more tutorials just like this. And drop a like if you found the video helpful. And please check out my social media networks. Those links in the description of this video. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a good day.